Morning peeps, what a beautiful Sunday, it is sun shining. Okay, there's a bit of wind, but that's great for, for me tabbing. Just gives me a, stops me from uh, sweating. But uh, yeah, so let's talk about well-being. Well, <clears throat> as you all know, I've now been going to the Veterans Hub in Loughborough on a Friday. A uh, great bunch of lads. The organisers, Helen, John and Gary, I, I can't support them enough to be perfectly honest what they're doing is amazing but the well-being hub isn't only there for the veterans on a friday the well-being hub is there monday to friday they've got various events that go on uh, all to do with well-being crafting uh, there's a nice little quiet room at the back where you get your coffee and that so if it's a bit loud in the main room you can pop into the quiet room sit and have a, le sit and have a uh, leisurely coffee so yeah it's fantastic so like I've always said to you all, well-being. Uh, during my lifetime, I'm, I've been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder due to my military career. Uh, Lisa and I got married October 2005, and then on Valentine's Day 2006, I got diagnosed with cancer. Uh, during those times, one of the things that's got me by is to support my family. Uh, Lisa's been absolutely brilliant. Uh, in fact, when I got diagnosed with cancer, she took it harder than I did. But also my friends. And one of the other thing is, what I'm doing now, tabbing. I absolutely love tabbing. Uh, I've done for years. But it's a way that I can relax, even though I'm pushing myself on some days. Like today, I'll probably do about 10, 12 miles, depending on what route I decide. But I make that time. I make that time for myself. Yeah, that's the big thing. Yeah, whatever you're going through, and on next door we had someone that reached out, which is the biggest step you could ever do. If you're struggling with your mental health, yeah, the biggest step you can do is instead of sitting there, yeah, and getting yourself further and further into it, yeah, you actually reach out and ask for help. Now, there's lots of professional help, Samaritans and so on. Uh, but I find that in some cases, um, the people that give you the most help are the people that probably don't even know you. And I know when that person reached out on next door, the amount of people that messaged him with advice, support, even turned around saying, that, you know, if you need me, here's my number. I did exactly that. Yeah, and from my understanding, from the messages I'm receiving from that person, and I won't name him, um, he's taken that support, he's got professional help, but he also knows that if need be, he can call on any of us that have messaged him to uh, get extra support, and that's what it's all about. So, like I say, it's a beautiful day, sun's shining. Yeah, it's a little bit windy, some would say a bit chilly, but uh, I'm one of those that uh, needs to get really cold before I feel the cold. So uh, I'm going to tab on out. I hope you all have a great Sunday. Yeah, uh, obviously now with my lollipop duties, I'm on annual leave for the next two weeks while the kids have their Easter break. I was going to say I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. But I've got that many things going on at the moment. Flood warden from outside. Um, PSFA for the school that my granddaughter goes to. I'm pretty sure I can keep myself busy. Not only that, I'm pretty sure Lisa will give me loads of chores to do as well. So you all have a great Sunday and I'll catch up with you soon.